There are many repeated topics on this channel, my agenda. One of them is artificial scarcity. But what exactly do I mean by that? Well, let's take a look. This is pretty amazing. So we're going to Google, typing in how many gallons of water are on Earth. Look at this autofill already came up. This is by far the most incredible answer I've ever seen in my life. 326 million trillion gallons of water on Earth. 326 million trillion gallons. So it says here, there are more than 326 million trillion gallons of water on Earth. But watch this. Because right there, 326 million trillion of gallons, you're like, wow, that is the most abundant thing I've ever heard in my life ever. But then they follow it up with some artificial scarcity. Less than 3% of all this water is fresh water. And of that amount, more than two thirds is locked up in ice caps and glaciers. We have the abundance and then they follow it with the artificial scarcity. Like, oh no, don't, don't think there's abundance here. Mm -mm. Less than 3% of all this water is fresh water. And of that, more than two thirds. I, I didn't even know how big, I'm glad somebody has this here. Something like 326 million trillion. Is that a million trillion? All right, let's take the calculator. Let's see if, can I paste that in? Paste. <laughs> you heard the, I don't know if you heard the beep, but I think the calculator was like, nope, can't do it. All right, so uh, 3%. So let's time this. Times 0 0.03, right? That's how you do 3%. Oh, okay, so there's only, <laughs> how big is this number? <laughs> there's only, let me bring out Notepad because, you know, there's only 3% fresh water that you could drink. Nine, seven, eight. How many zeros? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, let's throw some commas in there. One, two, three. Okay, so what's that number? So thousands, hundred thousands, million, billion. 97 trillion gallons of water, right? 97 trillion gallons. And more than two thirds is locked up in ice caps and glaciers. Oh, well then I guess we can't, <laughs> if it's locked up in an ice cap and a glacier, we can't use it. But let's just say we take that away, two thirds, right? So two thirds is like, what, 66%? Two divided by three. 66.666, okay. So, we're gonna take our 97 trillion, paste that here, multiply that by point six 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 seven. Okay, we have a new number, and that number is and actually, I think we have to subtract that. So we're just going to do 97 minus 65. Minus 65. So, okay, so there's only 32 trillion. <laughs> 32 trillion gallons <laughs> of fresh water. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 32 trillion gallons. Now there's, what, 7 billion people on Earth? And then, so let's do that math. Let's see how many gallons of fresh water are available to everybody. Six, seven, eight, nine, 12. Divided by seven. Okay. All right, so is that a, so it's 4,571 gallons per person. Does that sound right? Four, five, seven, one gallons per person <clears throat> now the thing is matter can't be created or destroyed so as you drink the water pee it out it's still a liquid and it gets refined and recycled or evaporated and then precipitated i must be doing the math wrong but the point i'm trying to drill home is 
just as we receive the most abundant stat of all time, they immediately, they immediately try to shift your mindset from an abundance mentality to a scarcity mentality to point out that there's only one th- or 3% of the 326 million trillion gallons. Only 3% is fresh water, and then of that, two thirds are locked up in ice caps and glaciers as if ice caps and glaciers can't be melted. If that's the case, then what's, what's the fear of global warming? Where's the international call for the greatest engineers to find the most efficient way to desalinize water and distribute it? Well, there is one person that figured it out, and it's the guy that made the five hour energy. And I guess he's using all the money he made from that to help make the world a better place. He designed this new machine that desalinizes the water and there's not even any consumable parts and it's reproducible and he wants to make it available. The only thing stopping, he didn't mention this, but the only thing I can imagine stopping is a political reason. But there's no engineering reason why we can't desalinize the 326 million trillion gallons of water. Stop artificial scarcity. Check the link in the description to see the guy who made the desalinization machine.